right side. Powell inside to Mark Lunsford, and he gets it off the glass. A nice glass pass, and it's in 4-2. Mark Lunsford with two on the night. It's 15-8. Back to a seven-point lead for the Mobile College Rams. Jim, still a good number of the fans still standing up. Well, they are. They're into every shot and every dribble that's taken. Tonight. The brace puts up a shot. It doesn't go, but the rebound has gotten back by number 44. Sam Coates. Sam Coates, as he's into the game, he gets his first points of the night. It's 15-10, and Mobile College brings it back this way. The ball slapped away by the Badgers. Out of bounds, and it's going to belong to the to the Mobile College Rams. I believe they fit a change by the official. I think the official knew what color he wanted to call. He just didn't know which direction they were going temporarily. P.J. Thalen to inbound the ball for the Badgers. From three, it's put up, it doesn't go, and the rebound cleared out easily by number 42, Lance Washington from Mobile College, taking it quickly down court. It's out of bounds off the Badgers, and it belongs to the Mobile College Rams. Well, we had an opportunity there for a good, quick, fast break basket, just couldn't get the shot off. We made a good pass down court. Kyle Cox all alone from three, and it's good. Kyle Cox was left all alone outside the three-point line. That's the worst thing you can do to Kyle Cox is he'll put up a three every time. Marcus Watson is going to be called on the reach-in. That'll be his first of the night. Kyle Cox was licking his lips, Jim. He sure was. He had it wide open. Good drive, good penetration. Made that kick out good. Made the shot pretty easy. 18 to 10. Mobile College up by eight. 11 minutes and 34 seconds to go in the first half. The Badgers with the ball. That was Mobile College's first three-point basket, and it was the first three-pointer of the night for either team. Spring Hill spreading the floor out, trying to work on this uh, matchup zone of Mobile College. We're going to have an over-the-back call right there on number 44, Sam Coates. That'd be his first foul and his team's fourth. Number 30, Dennis Powell had position under the basket. That's all Coates could do was go over his back if he wanted to get the rebound and was called with the foul. Well, that shows you the importance of getting good rebounding position. When you get it, they've got to go over your back. Wonderful save over in the corner by somebody. The basket goes for number 33, Mark Lunsford. He has four in the game, and Coach Carl Nash has seen enough. It's 20 to 10, Mobile College on top. 10 minutes and 48 seconds to go in the first half, and Nash has got to stop this game because the momentum belongs to the Mobile College Rams. We'll be back after this break in the action from Far Gym. I don't care what business you're in, there are going to be some problems. I believe in facing problems head on and solving them. And believe me, I know about problems, but I also know about solutions. Here's to Wes Dempsey, AmSouth banker, who believes quality banking means responding to problems fast and with the right attitude. At AmSouth, you'll see it. Then, you'll believe it. Oh, we do. We're back at the close of the timeout. 10 minutes and 48 seconds left to go in the first half. The score is Mobile College 20 and Spring Hill College Badgers 10 as Coach Nash is going over game plan with his Badgers. P.J. Thalen beginning to look a little to me. Jim, I think he's played every second of this game thus far tonight, and it's been a tough-fought game. He has, but he's uh, in good shape. He'll make it. The Badgers with the ball on the inbound. Number 50, Brad Koppenhaver brings it down court. From
from three. It's good for number 14, Doug Lehman. His first points of the night, and it's 2013. They knock a quick three points off that lead by Mobile College. It's back to a seven-point lead for the Rams. Well, they've been spreading the floor, and they're able to get those shots. If they start hitting those, then we're going to have to do something to adjust, and I'm sure we'll come out of it. A poor shot by Lance Washington, number 42, and the rebound is cleared out by the Badgers. Thalen drives the baseline, and it doesn't go. Daniels on the baseline, down to Cox. He takes it down. He's going all the way to the baseline. He puts up the two, and it goes for Kenneth Daniels. His first points of the night is 22-13. Nine minutes and 25 seconds to go in the first half. I really don't see how Daniels got that ball off. Underneath, Thalen was right on top of him. They're going to call that foul on Daniels going over the back of Coates, I believe, number 44. It's very difficult to get a rebound like that where there's any contact at all without being called for the foul. We've got a couple of substitutions into the game for Spring Hill, number 11, Mark Flint, and number 31, Mark Allen, returning to the game. And also for Mobile College, number 34, Ramon Jones back in. A little pushing going on under the basket between uh, Allen and Mark Lunsford. And Brad Baird's going to come in. I think Big Brad will take charge under that basket. Mark might have to get a truck to push Brad around. On the baseline, the Badgers have the ball. Thalen from three on the baseline. It rims out, and the rebound comes away. Well, it came away to Mobile College, but they missed it all the way. The ball up by Thalen, and it's good for two. It's his first points of the night, believe it or not. And it's 22-15, a seven-point lead for the Rams inside of nine minutes to go in the first half. Ramey and Robinson with the ball. Back down the baseline is David Ramey. Ramey puts up a fall-away jumper. Had it partially blocked. And Mark Allen takes it coast to coast and jams it home. Timeout call by Coach Bill Eller, 22 to 17. Mobile College still on top by five. Eight minutes and 33 seconds to go in the game. The Mobile College calls timeout before things get out of hand. Well, we had about a 10-point lead at one time, 20 to 10. We've seen that evaporate to five points. And Coach Elder wants to call a little timeout and regroup, get things back on track. Uh, we just got a couple bad breaks. It uh, got a long rebound. It looked like it was going to be ours, and it went the wrong way, and we lost the basket on that. So I don't think we've done anything really uh, uh, bad here in the last couple minutes. I think we just had a couple breaks go against us. Uh, Spring Hill got their first three-point basket. So, you know, you put those together, and you can cut a 10-point lead in half in a hurry. Eight minutes and 33 seconds to go in the first half. The score is 22-17, Mobile College on top. And Mobile College has been on top from the very beginning. It took Spring Hill College nearly two and a half minutes to get on the board to begin the game, but then they've come on strong here and pulled two within five points of the Rams. And Coach Elder wanting to keep control of the game as he has thus far with the timeout, kind of regroup. Mobile College will own the ball on the inbound. No substitutions during that timeout for Mobile College. Same team that was there when the timeout was called. Daniels with the ball, comes with it down court inside to Brad Baird, number 54. He puts it on the floor and puts up the two. It does not fall. There is no foul call, and it comes back this way for the Badgers. Spring Hill really up-tempoing the game right now. Brad Baird clears it out and gets the rebound over number 31, Mark Allen, for the Badgers. 